Well, thank you for having me here. Uh, thank you to Mercer Alliance from Mercer County, the C Center, Arm in Arms, uh, because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here right now. Um, I'm formerly incarcerated. I came home and I was homeless with my son. Uh, and then we, we went through a process of social services and that was a, it was a hurdle, but eventually we went through it. And the reason being that we were able to get housing was because there were housing vouchers out there. And him and I qualified for one. And for a whole year, that kept us. And then eventually, they employed me. And now I'm able to pay my own rent with my son. And that made all the difference. Uh, so if there's no, there's no funding for housing, there's a likelihood that him and I may end up back in the streets. Uh, and, and a lot of other people. Because now that I work for the C-Center, City of Trenton, we help a lot of the homeless population that comes in. And, you know, so far we, we have housed over 100 homeless individuals, and they're all based on the vouchers that we receive. And uh, from someone that's been there and done that, I could see, you know, the, the light in their eyes, that they're able to get keys and go into their own place, and I have to be out on the streets where we eventually, you know, that's part of my job as an outreach worker for the chronically homeless. That's what we go out and we do. And then we bring them in and, and you know, little by little working with a coordinated entry assessment services, we're able to house these individuals and they appreciate that, you know. So it's kind of baffling to me because a lot of them, I was incarcerated with them. And, you know, I was, a cost to the state $56,000 per year. That was my cost to the state as a prisoner. So I don't, I don't see how there is money to be invested in keeping me in a cage, incarcerated, but there's no money to be invested in our quality of life out here. And that's baffling to me because at any given moment, if I decide to go back to that lifestyle, they'll come and they'll take my kid. And they'll give them to a total stranger to raise them at another $20,000 per year. You know, when I'm willing, I'm able, I'm determined, I'm consistent. I, we, him and I have been doing this for three years now. And we're going to continue to do it, with or without the cuts, or hopefully no cuts. It's the whole purpose of being here. Uh, because it's going to affect a lot of people. You know, a lot of people that personally I've come to them, it will definitely affect my son and I. Uh, so if, if there's any way that they can end the cuts, that they can stop the cuts, you know, if there's any way, and if there's any common sense, and instead of investing that money in a cage for me, or a diapers cage for my son, you know, invest it on us now, on our quality of life out here, without.